Yo, what is up, guys? JD Zero again, getting the Spectre the uh, the Ghost Gym Leader, and he he wants me to battle him again. Uh, I guess he wants the rematch. He really wants this rematch. So, uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, let's see. Let's see, what can I do against his team here? Because I'm pretty sure he's expecting me to use the exact same team again because he didn't like the fact that earlier that he got pretty much swept repeatedly. Uh, so I'm going to try something different and this might actually let him win. We don't know. But it is what it is. I am going to go ahead and use the different team. Uh, I am going to uh, use the water team. My basically the water starter team that I consider will be my water gym team. All, all water starters. Uh, so we're gonna pretty much have a gym versus gym when it comes down to it. Uh, Knowing the fact that this, I do not have the Ash Greninja because he doesn't like Ash Greninja. I do not have the Ash Greninja, so that's another thing. He's going to be probably asking, is that the Ash Greninja? And I'm going to be like, no, it's not the Ash Greninja. But there is one. Uh, nope, there's, there's, there's only one Mega. Uh, again... It's not the Ash Greninja, so that's that's fine. That's he should be he should be totally fine with this. But it is we're about to have this match, and I honestly think I'm gonna lose this one because there's really I want to say there's nothing really. If I had like a a better setup for a water team, then maybe maybe I will have a better chance against his Pokemon. But I wouldn't know. And I'm sorry if you guys hear like the helicopter out in the in the opening. I don't know what's going on, so I'm sorry for the helicopter. You might hear it. Uh, I'm gonna go for the stealth rocks. So I don't know what he's gonna be doing with his agent slash. So he's gonna go for a Z move. And I'm pretty sure it's the fighting Z move. Sword stance change to blade form. Yes, it's out pumbling. I don't know how much he's gonna do. It probably one shots. I'm thinking he's gonna one shot. I feel like I should have focus slash on here. It does not. It does not one shot. Oh my glance said that did not one shot. Why did that not one shot? Uh, I'm gonna go for the EQ. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, he pretty much could just shadow sneak me. Uh, that could do a pretty good amount of damage. It probably will one shot me from that. Yep, it was it one one shot me from that range. So I'm guessing. What I'm dealing with right now will be a, um, what you call it? I'm expecting that this is going to be one of the Angel Slash that has, uh, what you call it? I forgot what it's called. Uh, I'm trying to think, weak weakness policy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do another dragon dance. I mean, the next move he does is gonna pretty much do a lot of damage, but hopefully not a lot, cause I am semi frail.
Now, is either he's gonna go for King Shield again, or he's gonna go for the Shadow Snake. That's what I'm kind of like. Do I want to be cheeky and go for another King Shield? Or, you know, he's either gonna go for another King Shield, or he's gonna Shadow Snake me again, and I'm just gonna go for another D Dance, or go for the Crunch and probably take it out. Uh, which one should I do? Which one uh, should I do? I feel like I want to go for the crunch. I'm going for the crunch. Fuck it. I'm going for the... Ah, uh, damn it. I should have just went for the king shield. I should have went for the king shield. I, I should have... I mean, I should have went for the D-dance. That's going to lower my attack. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. Well, I'm going for another crunch anyway. Because I pretty much outspeed other than him using Shadow Sneak. And if he's going to go for Shadow Sneak, then fine. It's whatever. You know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go into a D-Dance anyway. But it is what it is if he does go for Shadow Sneak. So he is going to go for a move. It does not one shot. I mean, this could give you a free. Uh, he goes for the Sacred Sword. Sacred Sword does pretty good amount of damage. Uh, he might go for the King Shield again, but he could go for Shadow Sneak. Do I want to risk that? Shit, I risked it. He's making those predictions though. He's making those predictions though. There's Again, there's nothing I could do. I all I could do is pretty much generally outspeed him, but that's just saying that that was two drops. Two freaking drops to my attack. That I won't I, I feel like I can't do anything about that because again I even though I have like what like a life warp set on my uh it's like saying that I am getting boost but I'm it just I can't do anything about it it's, it's just generally I can't do anything I hate that I want to do something about it but I hate that I can't do anything about that Okay, so he got his Trevenant out. Uh, technically, a Crunch should do a pretty good amount of damage. I'm going to go for the Ice Punch instead. Ice Punch doesn't do shit. I mean, I was hoping for a Freeze, but that did not do anything. He's going to go for a Horn Leech. Horn Leech should do a good amount of damage to take out the... That sucks. That really sucks. He made pretty good decent plays when it came down to it I think that was my downfall like I said it was either way I was gonna get into a match kid you no lie I was gonna get into a certain match that I knew if I would have choose something that was gonna happen generally that's what my thought was my thought process was like well man you know if it goes down, it's gonna go down, and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get what I'm gonna get from out of that. I do get the defense boost from Toxic. I do lend the Toxic, so that's nice. So now I can generally don't really have to really truly much worry about his uh, Pokemon here as too much. It does pretty good amount of damage with the Wood Hammer, but there is that drainage of the. Uh, Harvest citrus berry, so eventually he's gonna be able to do another set of damage. I do outspeed, so ice beam should generally take it out. If not, it's gonna pretty much get the citrus, but it might die off to the poison later on. So again, phantom force. That's that's cool. He's gonna phantom force me, bro. That's that's. 
That's weird. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna face that. Okay, okay. So, again, I outspeed him, but there's really nothing for me to do. I got a defense boost, but do I really want to risk switching out into something that could take the hit? Or not? Because I could just go into. Well, I could go into anybody. But that's the point is, is either one of these two could actually do the damage that I needed to do. I'm gonna stay in. I'm not. I'm just gonna stay in. I I can't. I can't risk none of my Pokemon. Again, uh, generally all I could do is be able to outspeed it. He can't get the harvest up. He can't get the harvest up. Never mind. I guess you could get harvest at that range. That's interesting. Uh, again, I outspeed, so he's either he's gonna switch out or keep his Pokemon in. But either way, he's gonna get Stealth Rock no matter what. So he's gonna he's gonna have to keep it in. That's he's gonna have to sack it off. That's that's the only general way he could do is weaken me down, and you know, do his best to somehow come up on top. Whew. Oh my gosh, this is, uh, like I said, again, there's nothing I could generally do against his mons right now. Okay, that's the stealth rock damage. So, I could go for the hydro pump, but I'm not going to able to outspeed, and he does go for the energy ball. Energy ball should definitely take me out. So, I pretty much lost that I pretty much lost that but I do have my gen 1 blastoids and that's my mega blastoids but he said I can't have a Pokemon that pretty much has super effective moves using mega evolution so that really sucks that I can't use this Pokemon for mega evolution purposes Ah, uh, this would have been nice if I had Aqua Jet. Bro, this would have been nice if I had Aqua Jet. That sucks. I'm going to have to sack off another viable Pokemon. That really sucks. Because nothing can outspeed that. That's That generally sucks. <laughs> Bro, that sucks. Okay, so I have Gen 5 and Gen 6. One, I'm definitely gonna send out Gen 5 just because I have Aqua Jet and I could pretty much take out, I, can, I have a priority move to take his Chandelier out. So we're just gonna go ahead, Aqua Jet. I wanna set up Sword Stance, but you know, again, there's really just generally nothing I could do. There's really just generally nothing I could do. Oh uh, snap! He could go for a willow. That's kind of just. I could get a boost, but that's only paying me at plus one. And he does have the mega, so again, that's paying me at plus one, if anything. And I don't know if I can handle any moves that's coming my way. Nope. <laughs> nope <laughs> that's for sure that's a definitely no okay so I'm gonna go ahead and send out the Greninja again there's nothing I could do against his Gengar I could probably outspeed but I'm probably not gonna outspeed his Gengar uh yeah I'm not gonna outspeed his Gengar there's no way there's no way he pretty much won this he pretty much won this I, I literally told you guys like for me to choose a water gym team, I'm gonna have to eventually change up the team against his team because I'm pretty sure he has. Generally, I feel like if I would have mega evolved my Blastoids, I could probably save it. Probably save it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and send him GG. Uh, but yeah. 
if I were to make it evolve my Blastoise, that's kind of interfering with the rules of everything, and I didn't want to affect the rules. So, if I was able to allow to be able to use a Mega Evolution Pokemon that has super effective moves, I would have uh, at least survived and probably taken out at least one or two of its mons with Mega Blastoids, but you know, that's, that was a thing. I couldn't do anything. I really couldn't do anything when it came down to it. And I wish I could have did something to it. And once the video comes up, he's going to probably see it. And he's going to realize, well, dang, you know, that was pretty much it. Uh, he was also concerned about the, uh, the two sleeps that I did on the first match. Again, I was not expecting me to get two sleeps, like two uh, hypnosis off or off the bat with uh, Joker, the Gengar, and it happened. So that was, I, like I said, the Joker came in clutch with that. And then I did miss the other two. So again, it was just, like I said, like once I was bringing in the team, when I was bringing in the water team, I know for a fact is either that I'm going to somehow overcome his team or I'm not going to overcome his team and if I was going to overcome his team it was, it's overcome but it is what it is I didn't overcome his team I kind of gotten some of his mods down but generally I was not going to be able to take on his ghost team it was just no way unless I was able to use Mega Blastoids it's, that was the only way I was going to probably take at least two of his team out, saving my other team. But it is what it is. Again, comment, share, subscribe, like, button, picture, scroll, shades on, say awesome, guys. Bye.